Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's about 6.35, and I'm on the Chow Praia River. I'm meeting a friend at Tara Bar and Restaurant, or Tara. I've never been this far down. Um, Asia Teak is... Uh, it's on the other side. I believe that's the Ramaphore Bridge over there, and it's on the other side. So I'm, I'm pretty far. I've never been in this neighborhood. This is Tara right over here. It looks like it's under the Grand U condo or I'm not sure what that is but there's just a whole uh, little area of restaurants on the river here this is Brown's River yeah so it should be a fun night one thing I'll give you a heads up on um, I'm supposed to meet my friend over here at uh, 645 and I try to give myself an hour uh, crossing Bangkok traffic on a Saturday in a taxi. It's no joke, but I couldn't get a taxi. It was uh, happens every now and then, um, but tonight it was uh, especially bad at uh, a quarter to six, well, 5.30. I ordered up a car and it said, okay, it'll be here in 31 minutes. And I just saw bumper to bumper traffic in front of my condo. I canceled, I ordered another one. It'll be here in 17 minutes. So I just took an 11 kilometer motorbike ride, which I don't like doing, especially since we passed uh, two guys laying in the middle of the street. That's a little unusual with an ambulance after their little motorbike crash. And we kind of went on a, not a highway, but uh, we got up to speed. I did ask the driver if he had a spare helmet and he did. So that, uh, that, would have kind of at least saved my head anyhow but what I'm getting at is give yourself plenty of time during busy rush hours especially on a, a Friday and Saturday I should have known better I should have maybe taken the train over to Sapon Taxon and then maybe a motorbike down this way but I don't know I just figured I'll order up a, a grab car and it won't be a problem but it almost was tonight it's actually a nice windy night. It feels great. We have a patio table. It doesn't look uh, like there's any rain in sight. So no complaints at all. And here's Brown's River. Yeah, it's a beautiful evening tonight. My friend's running a little bit late, so it's uh, going on 7 p.m. Sit down and have a nice dinner, some drinks. I'm just not familiar with this uh, area down here at, at all. There's a couple of churches over here. I know we took Rama 3 most of the way to get here, but I was just hanging on for dear life. Uh, I'm fine on the back of those uh, motor taxis, but uh, not so much for a 10-kilometer trip across town when uh, these guys are going as fast as they can to get from uh, point A to point B and get to the next ride. And that's where we'll be eating. Terra restaurant and bar. So it's also oftentimes called the King's Bridge, but I'm pretty sure that's the Rama 3. I'll, co I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. And I'm wrong often, <laughs> but like I say, I've, I've gone over the bridge in a taxi many times. I've never hung out here at the base. I didn't even know this little restaurant area existed till uh, about an hour ago. And here's Tara Bar and Restaurant. It's like a nice place. So this Tara's a, a nice spot. It'll fill up as uh, the evening rolls on. It's not even seven o'clock yet. When the sun goes down, that's when everybody comes to these uh, outdoor restaurants. And it looks like we might have a little uh, guitar player in a little while. Yeah, sorry about mixing up my bridges. I know if you're a Bangkok ex expert, you're probably yelling at your uh, laptop, but I'm just learning as I go. And there's also a nice air-conditioned area, but uh, I don't know what it is outside. 80 degrees. Feels nice for the breeze, so... We're definitely hanging out by the river tonight. And then if you continue a short distance, you'll be at Asia Teak. And then, of course, uh, 
head up the river a little bit, you'll be at Icom Siam next to the Sapan Taxon Bridge. And here's somebody cruising out on their powerboat. Yeah, I miss uh, living in the marina, hanging out on the water every evening. So this is probably considered a little higher end dining. It's definitely, you know, not fast food. Yet, a quick peek at the menu. I see plenty of 500 baht options. Even some of the nice seafood plates are six and 700 baht, so it's not out of control. I just ordered a liter. That's apparently the only way you can uh, get the draft beer. So what is that, 33 ounces, I think? And it was 350 baht, so that's, that's really not out of line. There's my beer. And there goes a freighter heading up the Chao Praia. Hey, how's it going everybody? Good morning. It's the next day, Sunday, and that was a good time on the Chow Prior last night. Good food, hanging out, good conversation, great time. But it is uh, a little after 7 in the morning, and I'm wandering around in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing up this early, but I only had a couple of beers last night, so maybe that's the key to waking up early. I don't know. I, I'm not really a morning person but I don't mind the cooler weather so I'm gonna wander around the neighborhood and uh, maybe go get a bowl of my uh, pork soup down the way although they had a, a sign on the door it was in Thai and they were closed yesterday so I assume it was uh, a family vacation or something because all three locations were closed and we'll see if it looks like this morning if you can see at the very end there that bit of traffic that's Sukhumvit so that's how far I live down uh, 26. Then 26 goes off in this direction where you're going to see this motorbike take a right turn. About that equal distance as from here to Sukhumvit, you'll be down at Rama 4. And you'll find a Big C, a Lotus, K Village. A lot of shopping down there. It's nice to uh, see my street empty. Oftentimes this is just bumper to bumper cars using it as a, a shortcut or a way to get from Rama 4 over to Sukhumvit so it's just bumper to bumper uh, last night was horrible and I should have knew better I was crossing town it was about 11 kilometers so according to the app it says it's a 22 minute ride and I knew better than that so I gave it an hour I think I even ordered a car an hour and 10 minutes ahead of time and it just, uh, two cars canceled on me. That's very common over here. Just uh, when you put it in on the app, a car will be on the way. And I don't know if they're working two or three different apps at the same time. They'll just cancel on you if they, they get a better deal, maybe out to the airport or something with less traffic. So give yourself plenty of time. But the smarter thing to do is uh, take the train as close as you can and then take a motorbike for that last mile. I was uh, nowhere near the train last night at that uh, Tara restaurant, so I could have went to Sapan Taxon, and then it was still a seven-mile motorbike ride, so I just decided to uh, deal with the traffic, but that's one thing, unless uh, the cars don't want to deal with the traffic, and they just, uh, they'll just cancel on you. You know, I'm realizing I've never walked down... I know it's a little private alley. There's a, a guard right here, but I've never headed down this little street. So let's go back and see what's happening. It's right on 26. There's a little massage place right on the corner. I'm, I'm not sure why. I've lived here almost a year. I, I guess I just assumed it was uh, a couple of private homes. These businesses straight ahead are on the other part of Soy 26. Let's see what's uh, 100 feet from my front door that I didn't know about. Are you kidding me? There's a breakfast story back here? I had no idea. 
Huh. Well, there you go. I'm uh, constantly finding new places. I, I guess that's a breakfast story. It doesn't look like the others. No, this looks like, uh, I don't know what it looks like. I, I was going to say one of those staging areas where they cook the food. It doesn't look like a full restaurant. And this is Raj Frozen Foods. Yeah, I had no idea this, uh, this little loop was back here. I thought about coming back here a few times, but you know, they kind of have that one security guard up front. And I just thought it was a little private neighborhood, which it is, but... Okay, so that's not a breakfast story, I'm, I'm going to say. It had the breakfast story sign, but I just saw piles of eggs and flour in there. Maybe it's a staging area when they take the food to the restaurants. Here's Yonix, which I think Yonix is um, electric. Well, it says shop online Yonix. I was going to say electrical. I think conduit or something I saw Yonix one time. Here's something Spectrum. Yeah, so even in my own neighborhood, uh, I'm finding new things. This is kind of a cool brick setup. Oh, I still don't know what that Spectrum building was. It just says Spectrum Studio. Yeah, Spectrum Studio. And customs. I would have been upset with myself if there uh, there was a breakfast story right there all along. I like breakfast story. That's a nice home. And there it is. So straight ahead is uh, Soy 26, and the buildings off in the distance are on Soy 24. So just a little tiny neighborhood, but I'm glad I took the time to uh, see what was back here. And it looks like one of my neighbors has a beautiful Harley. Straight ahead that says, uh, golf swing that's one of those uh video golf places where you uh get your swing analyzed i'm not sure of the cost and right on the corner is a school of art and then upstairs it says roof hair and you enter right here again at this point i'm usually hustling to get out of the heat and get home I know right on the left here is a carpet store and a King Kong burger. I didn't, uh, I didn't ever see that school of art. And this is the fancy region on the park one building. I, I know there's another region on the park. I want to say on Soy 43 or 49. Pretty expensive building out of my price range or at least the price I want to pay yeah one of the things I love about my street is it's just uh, covered in trees this little canopy I mean the Sun is up and you can see uh, for the better part of the day it's kind of tucked away in the shade it makes for a nice walk down to the train and here's the story, service departments. It's just three stories tall. I've mentioned it in other videos. They used to have a banner out front that said 21,000 baht or 20,999 for, it was larger than a hotel room, but uh, it was definitely a studio. But on a month to month, that's not bad. I have uh, friends that are paying way more than that for monthly Airbnbs. Sure, you can get a condo for 10, 12, 13,000 baht. Uh, well, 
15, 16. I'm paying 19,000, but it's a fairly large 52 square meter. If you're okay with a, a 31 square meter or 35 is pretty common. 28 and 29 square meter condo, uh, studio condos, they're also available. Yeah, if you can do with a smaller condo, you, you can be right here in Prom Pong, Asok, not far from the train. It's just about uh, how much size you want to pay for. I'm okay paying whatever it is, uh, 19,000 baht for a little additional size. She wanted 22. I got it for 19. Um, so that's a fair compromise on uh, son in a 12 month lease. If for some reason it became 25, oh, trip there, 25 or 26,000 baht, I'd probably go to a smaller place. I'd rather spend my money out uh, exploring new restaurants and taking trips than sitting in an apartment. And right across from the Double Tree, this is a Hilton property there attached to the Hilton over on Sway 24. Right on this side is a great little bar called Queen Bee. There it is right there. I can't, well, the sign's tucked away on the wall. But really good food, decent music. John, the owner from the UK, he's usually sitting in uh, one of those seats on the patio. He's a good guy to hang out and uh, learn about Bangkok. I'm not sure how long he's been here, but I know I was in that Queen Bee. 2014, maybe that far back. And I'm sure he's been here a lot longer than that. So the Rung Rung Noodles, the three locations, they're all closed up at this 7.30 in the morning. I know down the way there is a sign. I've seen it zipping by on the motorbike a couple of times that maybe they're uh, taking a couple of well-earned days of vacation. But that is the new location right there, right next to the 7-Eleven. Delicious uh, pork noodle soup. There's only six items on the menu, or really one item. It's just how you want it. Uh, it's pork soup. Do you want it with clear broth or tom yum or, or uh, uh, fish balls? But just the regular clear broth soup, whatever you want to call it, with uh, whatever size noodles you want. Chunks of pork and these delicious pork meatballs it's really good it's 70 baht for a i think 70 for a huge uh, bowl and there it is you can see all the michelin not awards but uh they are in the michelin guide there are michelin award restaurants i passed by one called canvas up in tong la yesterday it's on soy 55 that's the higher high soul sub part of town so you're gonna find fancy fancy restaurants and I'm walking over to the prom punk BTS I'm heading up little notorious alley here so soy 24 and a half you have all these uh, well, kind of hanky-panky massage angel rose snow white and this one just opened what does that say dopu but just the whole string of uh, Ladies will be hanging out here starting in the early afternoon. There's Boss. And I know there's a Vietnamese barbershop here somewhere. Maybe it's Boss. Yes. Vietnamese barber style. 800 baht for 90 minutes. Foot scrub, shaving, facial massage, nail clipping, ear cleaning. Huh. Open 10 a.m. to 20 hundred. And this place is packed with uh, office workers. I came through here at noon the other day, and there must have been uh, just 20 people sitting on these little stools. Good morning. Here's the love, love. And the can, can. Yeah, this is a crazy little alley, but hey, you know, it's a part of uh, the flavor of Bangkok. 
and a super popular Japanese place right at the top of 24 and a half. 24 and a half and soy 26 are just 10 feet apart. Right there where the motorbike is turning, that's 26. And then when we head right here, that's the Prompong BTS. So you can see I'm a five, six minute walk, even tucked halfway down the soy. So don't be too concerned about having to live 20 feet from the BTS. A less than a 10 minute walk, that's more than acceptable. And just going that short distance, the price is, uh, it's gonna go down. It, this is uh, uh, not a condo building, but if you're staying in that building that close to the BTS, that's gonna come at a 25% or more premium. And you can see the double tree tucked away. Queen Bee right across the street. And you can see it's a very short walk to the Prompong BTS. So even if you're dragging a suitcase, ah, that's certainly not worth uh, getting in a cab and taking a 15 minute ride. Just make the five minute walk. And 15 minutes because of traffic. They're gonna have to go up way down the way, make a U-turn, sit in traffic. It's just a pain. pain. You, you, you learn to pick your spots in Bangkok and uh, me, I have no problem with the uh, motorbikes. If so, like, like this young lady, you just jump on that bike and he's gonna do all kinds of unique things to save you time in Bangkok traffic. That's looking down the way to Soy 39. Hey, so thanks for uh, checking out this new restaurant, Tara, and uh, this little look at Bangkok on a Sunday morning. I appreciate you watching. There'll be more videos to come. We'll see you later.